yeah so this is the rent which i have paid it's like almost 1300 dollars so like 78000 hello beautiful people out there welcome back to my channel rami stories so here i am back with a new interesting video and this video is all about money how much money i spent in the month of june i created a little bit of a list it includes all my travel expenses and the money which i spent on my gym the money which i spent on my credit card bill the money I spent on groceries, so it includes everything, like everything that went from my pocket, I happen to track down and make a list and then see where my money is going. So keep watching until the end to figure out how much money I happen to spend. So before moving forward, please hit the subscribe button and then give it a thumbs up. So let's go right into my screen and then check out the cost. So yeah, here is my screen. So let's start with the purchases for the flight tickets. I spent like around 135,000 uh, for a one way ticket. That's from Hyderabad to Toronto. You see, this was like uh, the cheapest option which I have got. And at this time, you know, I took Sri Lankan Airlines that has got like a 24 hour window where uh, we had halts at Colombo and also at uh, Frankfurt, Germany. So deal was like around 135K for two adult tickets and one child ticket basically. I think this was pretty good deal because we, each ticket cost around like 60 odd thousand. So from India to Toronto, I think it's kind of pretty nice deal. So that was my travel expense in the month of June. So moving forward, let's go to my Indian credit card uh, bills basically. So yeah, here it is my credit card bills out there in India. So I had like two credit card bills and I was using HDFC bank for a long time, maybe like seven, eight years. And quite recently I got a HDFC bank credit card as well uh, because I was buying a lot of stuff on Amazon and then in Amazon, you know, this Amazon pay ICC bank. I got this to get the deals in Amazon because they give back 3% uh, uh, to the card like whatever i spend on amazon uh, at the time in india so I, I used that as well that was my india credit card expense uh, now let's moving on to the rent which i paid uh, out here yeah so this is the rent which i have paid it's like almost 1300 dollars so like 78000 uh, this was kind of like very very uh, cheap because you know uh, the family which you are staying here has been uh, renting it from the last seven eight years so the thing is in canada if you want to rent a place uh initially you need to get a new lease for a new lease they actually try to uh, renovate everything and then give it to you uh, to get a new lease it's around like uh, 1650 out in the same apartment where i'm staying and also we are shopping around other apartments as well it was like around 1800 1900 i would say 2000 should be the ballpark number uh, less than that maybe 200 here and there less than you might get a good uh, apartment so this is what i have spent this is actually a very good apartment one of our cousin happened to uh, guide us to this place otherwise it would have been very very difficult for us so because of him we got this pretty nice apartment we could stay here uh, for the next two months so we might have saved a lot of money on that so this is our temporary place because you know we are not going to stay here for long and we are not going to get uh, an apartment for this price anywhere at all definitely 100 percent damn sure so right now the market price is like around 1650 is the normal range and if you want to get a better accommodation or a better uh, place or more amenities, then you have to spend like 200 or 250 more, basically. So, around, so I, I took it like around 2000 should be the ideal uh, number to get a good place, basically. So that's my rent, which I have spent in the month of uh, June. So moving on, I also bought some cash from India. So let's check out how much it is. Yep, let's go to the cost section. So I bought some cash also while I'm coming from India. Uh, this is like uh, in the foreign exchange. I spent like around, I got like around 500 Canadian dollars just in case, you know, when I come here, I need to pay for the cab or I need to buy some groceries because I don't have any credit cards or stuff like that. So this is the amount which I bought. Out of $500, I've spent almost like 450. I've got like only $50 in my hand right now. Yeah, so that's what I spent um, on my Canadian cash. So that's the expense. So yeah, moving on, let's go to the Canada credit card section. Um, let's see how much I have been spending till now. This is kind of like a little expensive for me because this was due to the fact that, you know, I happen to spend a lot of money on uh, getting my initial thing set up basically. Like, you know, uh, getting a driver's license where I spent like $100 or again, I have paid like around 250 for my cycle. Maybe I would try and reduce my credit card bill out here in Canada. That would save some money, but still, nevertheless, so this is what happened with my CABC bank credit card out here in Canada and then moving forward let us check out the whole cost you know like whole of the expense in uh, June yeah so this is what it looks like my total expense in the month of uh, June <laughs> look at the total expense that is like around 7150 Canadian dollars that rounds about like 431 Indian rupees so that's the expense of my money in the month of June that's a lot of money I believe yeah 
so that's like huge for a month i understand you know because of my flight tickets and then my other expenses out there in india and then again my expenses out here in canada so it, it kind of like you know multiplied by a lot basically so that was my expense if you can see uh, my expense out here in canada so this is what is gym fees i paid like 113 g1 exam bicycle tricycle <laughs> and other groceries 500 bucks groceries you know like uh, we buy a lot of meat we got a lot of vegetables so yeah so that was my all around cost which i happened to spend in the month of june this is like kind of like it gives me more clarity uh, where i am spending my money uh, by having this you know i would have more control about what i am doing and then maybe going forward i might reduce a bit uh, and things like that so i also did a little bit of forecast of what i would be spending uh, so this is the main amount where i would increase a bit because you know this is kind of very very uh, good rate which i have got here because it's kind of a temporary accommodation and then the family which they are staying here has been here for the past six seven years so you know when they came here it would have been like around 900 dollars you know now the market has uh, increased a lot and then the prices have been like amplified a lot so yeah so that was uh, good for us you know so moving forward let's see the future or you know let us check the forecast so here it is guys this is my future expense forecast if you can see you know my one year lease uh, to begin with i have to pay like two months of rent that's like first month's rent and also the last month's rent I would, I am assuming it might be around 2000, basically I would try to get around like 1800 or below 1800 inclusive of everything because right now even though if I get it like a 1650 apartment, they are not giving all inclusive like I have to pay for hydro and water extra, it would come around like 100 and if I have to get a parking that's around 100 dollars again, parking for a car basically. So I happen to round it up around like 2000 would be the monthly expense for any apartment you know right now that's the market price going on so and also i also need to get a new phone because my phone is kind of very old so i need to switch to a new iphone and then uh, yeah if you go for an iphone and a sim card and an internet plan because you know if i go to a new home i need to buy a new internet plan as well right so i think internet plans are like around 50 dollars per month phone bill around 30 dollars per month ideally and also phone bill right so phone bill internet bill and then a phone so 50 50 and 130 dollars so i'm i assume it to be around 130 if you add like around 10 dollars tax it will be around 140 but still i took it like 130 and let's see how it goes and then i also added like a little bit of a cash because i may not need much cash maybe i should carry like around 100 200 dollars just in case because most of the player places they only accept the credit cards so yeah so that should be the idle amount and credit card bill yeah this month i have spent 1100 so i believe i should be spending around that because four thousand dollars is my credit card limit out of which I only need to spend 30% to have a good credit score because here credit score matters so definitely I should be spending less than uh, 1200 so I happen to keep like $100 as the margin so I thought of spending only 1100 whatever the case may be because here uh, based on the credit score in the future if you want to buy a new home the mortgage uh, might be a little higher if you have a low credit score basically so that's the idea so that's my expense so that has been my expenses so yeah future forecast maybe see if I could say this would be like initial month maybe maybe if i reduce it by uh, by months so then it would be like around three thousand four thousand so that would be two lakh twenty five thousand would be my ideal amount that I would spend in a month uh, if i could actually concentrate i could actually cut down on some of the expenses like you know like uh, reducing the cost and then reducing the credit card bill by cutting down on uh, doing some unnecessary expenses if so if you have to make a very good living so this is what the minimum amount you would be spending i hope this video is helpful uh, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.